Welcome to J Dell TV. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite uh, cases. Um, it was another recent uh, Twitter video that got over 50 likes, so I thought I would go ahead and move it over to here to discuss further. Um, let's just focus first of all on the image on the right. It's a apical four chamber view. I've just rotated it so that we can show a direct comparison to the MRI um, in a second. Um, so in this picture, you have your right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. And a couple of things are seen right away. Number one, there's poor endocardial definition. This is a patient who's morbidly obese and the ultrasound had trouble penetrating. But remember, what creates a um, image on echo um, is acoustic mismatch. So you have to have ultrasound with different tissues. And if the myocardium is so thick that the endocardium is making contact between the lateral wall and the septal walls, then there's not going to be an acoustic mismatch. You're not going to have endocardium created. Of course, you can put contrast in and that would resolve this problem. But in this particular case, the endocardium is not creating an image. The myocardium itself is so thick that the septal wall and the lateral wall are essentially um, expanding because the endocardium is making contact. So you end up with this epicardial motion that looks for all the world like an apical aneurysm. And I've seen patients read as coronary artery disease with an apical infarct, um, despite the fact that there's actually no coronary disease, no infarct, and no wall motion abnormality. But your eye just wants to see motion and it immediately evolves to the epicardium and misreads that pattern as dyskinesis. Now let's look over here at what's really going on. And on the cardiac MRI, um, it's really impressive. A number of things are happening. Number one, mid and distal septum, mid and distal lateral on the entire apex is markedly thickened. Two, the ratio from the base to the mid to the apex continues to thicken, which is the reverse of normal pathology, uh, normal myocardium. Um, the other thing that you can see is, again, the endocardium is making contact. So again, there's no opportunity for acoustic mismatch, and therefore you're not gonna create a signal over here on the echo. And then if you do look at the epicardium, you get the hint that it does bulge outward in systole. And over here, unfortunately, your eye just assumes that that's endocardium, and that's the reason it's read as dyskinesis, where clearly it's not dyskinetic. It's just marked wall thickening. Um, lastly, I'll point out on this MRI exam, all this white that you see out here is fat. And so this is a patient whose um, ultrasound signal was likely to be reduced just simply due to attenuation of the signal um, from the transmission of the ultrasound. So again, I hope you um, enjoyed that further discussion on this. And uh, again, I appreciate your um, subscription to JDL TV. And uh, I look forward to bringing you some more educational videos soon.